to the Grand Canyon again this last year. Uh, but this time I went by myself, which was a very new and strange experience. Now I love the Grand Canyon. I feel like I've made my feelings about it perfectly clear. Anyone who doesn't want to go to the Grand Canyon is a foolish person. That's just a hole in the ground. Shut up, you're a hole in the ground. So when I visited, I was in the middle of my house show tour and I had to drive from Oklahoma to California to do more shows. My plan originally for driving to California was to break it up over three days and each day drive a little bit over six hours and then I would make it in three days. That was the plan until this lady at a show when she found out that I was driving, she was like, oh, you gotta stop at the Grand Canyon on the way there. And I hadn't even thought about that. Cause yeah, of course I'm gonna stop at the Grand Canyon. It never stops being beautiful and amazing and incredible. And anyone who says otherwise is a liar or a racist. No, that's wrong. They're a liar or they're just uninformed. You know what? I can't be mad at them. They're uninformed and they're uneducated. <laughs> so because it was a last minute visit, uh, I, I wasn't prepared at all to make this stop. I hadn't thought anything through. I wasn't ready for this. Like, you know it gets cold at the Grand Canyon? Yeah, it's like windy. And I don't have any, I don't have a single jacket. I don't own a jacket. I better put pants on. And that means I'm gonna have to change in the parking lot, which when I came here several, several years ago, uh, one time I was driving through the parking lot, we saw this old woman changing out of her pants and I, I just, uh, that image is forever in my brain. Now I might accidentally end up being that image for someone else and I hope not. I hope I'm not someone else's old lady. Yeah, that's true. Uh, one time I saw an elderly woman changing her pants in a Grand Canyon parking lot. That's it. That's not, it's not like a story. It wasn't like a traumatic experience or anything. It's just something I've always remembered. We were just driving through a parking lot and I turned to my right and I just see someone's grandma has no pants on and she's got two pairs of pants in her hand and she's changing and she's not doing it very quickly. Like she doesn't seem to mind what's going on. She's just doing that. And I saw it and said, oh, that's not, oh, that's not supposed to happen here. And the end, and then we drove on and I just, I remember it. I was scared if I were to do that, like if I were to change my pants in a Grand Canyon parking lot, something worse would, it would become a worse story. Like I, I don't know, like a, a child would see me and scream or a family would hit me with their van or some, something bad would happen and I would end up on Good Morning America, but not in a good way. Visiting the Grand Canyon is a beautiful, amazing experience, but visiting by yourself is a little different. There are like experiences that you don't get to share with anybody else. You just have to like keep it to yourself. Like when you're standing around watching people get so close to the edge. Ooh, they get so close. What are you doing, father and son? What are you doing? Why are you so close? Get away from there. That's dangerous. You could fall. What is this, for a picture? That picture is not worth it. What if a bald eagle swoops down and knocks your son off? Then, you, oh, you got a nice little Instagram picture of the day your son died. How dare you? Oh, it freaks me out so much. You guys are daredevils. You guys are daredevils, and I'm not. I'm not a daredevil. This is as close to the edge as I got. And, and my butt cheeks were so tightly clenched together out of fear out of fear and survival. And when I backed away, my butt cheeks finally, I was able to like, uh, release and a diamond came out because of the pressure of my butt cheeks. Other experiences you don't get to share with anybody when you're by yourself. Oh, like the time I was walking out of the bathroom and I became a true American hero. Yeah, so I was over. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. I just saved your life. I saved you from embarrassment. Why was I filming walking out of the bathroom? I'm not sure, but I'm glad I was because I got toilet paper off your shoe. I could have stopped you and said, excuse me, sir, you have toilet paper on your shoe. But instead, yeah, toilet paper. I got it myself. The biggest bummer about going by myself was that I didn't get to turn to anybody and say, hey, um, look at that guy's calf muscles. Because there was a guy who had calf muscles there that were incredibly, just outlandish. He had outlandish calf muscles, and I didn't get to share that with anybody until now. So I get to say to you, hey, look at this guy's calf muscles. First of all, those are some meaty calves. 
and it's not like super defined like ooh, I've been working oh just like the veins and it's like rigidy it's just like it's just like a chunk of meat it's just like a fat chunk of if someone went to Popeye's chicken and got a box of chicken legs and they opened it up and said we're all sharing these and I saw I saw a chicken leg that was just like a chunk of meat like that man's calves I, ooh, that obviously obviously I'm gonna go for that piece of meat and it's not just like the calf it's just like the whole thing is just die of meat and then yeah he has tan lines that are very strange and I'm not making fun of him no I just his tan lines are mysterious very mysterious tan lines that I want to understand that I want to know about why did you do this because it looks like it was on purpose it looks like you did this for a reason and I want to know what the reason is because it makes your legs look not real like like they're fake chew toys for dogs in the shape of a chicken leg you have incredible legs for a thousand reasons and I bet no one has ever made fun of them to him because he could kick a Grand Canyon into your face with his strong thick calves <laughs> now I feel weird that I'm talking about him sir sir if you sir if you ever find this video and I don't know how and I don't know why but I'm not I'm not making fun, I'm I'm celebrating your calves I am celebrating them. Don't change anything about yourself. You're great. The Grand Canyon's great. It's a beautiful experience. I just didn't have anyone to share it with. So I needed to share this with somebody. And that's what this is. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.